A lot of people wondering if and when this country's economy will really take off. One of the key players in guiding our financial future is the Federal Reserve Bank. In tonight's Fox Forward, Dan Godwin talks with the head of the Dallas Fed about jobs, the economy, and which country is really number one. The Federal Reserve has 12 regional banks across the country, and one of them is in Dallas. And it's nice to welcome President of the Dallas Fed, Richard Fisher. Thanks for coming in. Thank you, Dan. Thanks for having me. And it's worth pointing out, the Federal Reserve is not in the business of printing money. There is a Treasury Department facility in Fort Worth, but that's right. not what you guys do. You order the money, but you don't actually print it. Right? They print it at our request. Eighty percent of the currency of the United States is printed in Fort Worth, Texas. Okay, you sit on the committee, the Fed Policy Committee with the chair, Janet Yellen. Yes. And last month, uh, she said something pretty interesting, I thought. She said uh, she reiterated her belief that uh, by the end of 2016, two and a half years, the United States could be back, could be back to full employment. Uh, what does that really mean, and do you agree with her assessment? Yeah, the sign is positive. We're moving in the right direction. We're moving slowly, but we're recovering from that gaping wound that we had of the Great Recession. And the operative word in your sentence there was could. It could be back to full employment. We'll see. But when we talk about full employment, that would mean what, what, uh, what percentage figure would represents full employment? Well, we don't, frankly don't know right now. Uh, it's not going to be probably as low a number as it was, a lower percentage as it was before the crisis, because the crisis scared some old folks, baby boomers like me, into stepping aside early. And uh, we don't know really what those numbers are, but let's put it this way. Better than where we are now, somewhere in the low fives. And if we could really, really put the pedal to the metal in terms of our economy in the high four percents. Assuming the White House and Congress could really work together. What's, Boy, you're an optimist. Uh, right, absolutely. <laughs> Never give up hope. Uh, what's the one thing that you'd, if, assuming they could all get along suddenly and do something quick, what's the one thing they could really do to boost this economy? I don't care if you're a Democrat or a Republican. There should be one focus, job creation. That's what people want. People don't want to be on public. It says they want to work. And they should be focused on creating laws, regulations, tax incentives, spending patterns that encourage job creation, take advantage of the cheap and abundant money the central bank, the Federal Reserve, has made available, and put the American people back to work. One thing we often hear about is how China is about to overtake the United States as the world's number one economy. But it, there's differing opinions as to when that's going to happen. When is it going to happen, and, and what's the significance of it? I, I think that's an overblown argument. I've been going to China and negotiating with the Chinese government and investing in China before I had this job starting 10 years ago since 1979. And I don't worry about it. I think our quality of life is so much better. So it's a quality of life. It's a sense of freedom. Now, what you do have to worry about, of course, is what their military decides to do and what they can afford to expend and what their ambitions might be. And that's why we have to be strong here in the United States. We safeguard the rest of the world, and we have to have a strong economy to do it. Well, Richard Fisher, president of the Dallas Federal Reserve Bank, thank you so much for the chat. Thank you so much, Dan.